down there. Are, are you still copying me okay on this antenna? Over. Wow, thank you for the five. Yeah, just running a, uh, a Fox Tango 890 here, uh, whatever she's putting out. And uh, yeah, the uh, triple uh, bazooka dipole I build is up about a half a wavelength. And uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Stock microphone, but I do have a processor on here on this uh, uh, Fox Tango 890 there. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you're uh, going to give me another signal report there. Yeah, I'll give you another one also. Um, yeah, what kind of antenna setup are you running there? Over. Okay, okay, roger that. I think you wanted to compare the two antennas again. Uh, yeah, let me uh, 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 flip over. Uh, right now, this is the uh, Trizuka, my Trizuka. And uh, that's the vertical uh, IMAX 2000 at about 55 feet there. Over. Oh, that's an interesting Scott. You're saying a Trizuka. I haven't heard of a Trizuka. I thought it was a Bazooka. But anyway, it's a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger than the Bazooka. It's a little bit stronger than the IMAX there, Over. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger than the IMAX there, Over. Yeah, yeah, roger that. Yeah, back over on the Trizuka. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a little bit stronger than the IMAX there, Over. Yeah, yeah, roger that. Yeah, back over on the Trizuka. Yeah, it's a, I can describe it as a double Bazooka with an uh, extra phasing line. Uh, on, a, on a normal bazooka, you got the two phasing lines on each side, a quarter wave, making the half wave. Well, this has in the center, uh, my friend, in the center, I've uh, put a phasing line there. And uh, that's how I came up with a triple bazooka. Roger. Yeah, go ahead, mate. Yeah, no worries. I'll stand by.